Yeah, and speaking of, uh, tell me a little bit about this uh, project that you're working on right now. Uh, so, Josh, I am so stoked that you, uh, you, you brought this up. Um, uh, storefrontstrong.org, uh, and you can actually, guys, I recommend everybody go out to this website. So it's storefrontstrong, one word, dot org. And really, um, you know what, let me, let me give you a little background on this, because I think yeah. everyone watching would, would like to hear this. Um, so about four and a half weeks ago, five weeks ago, uh, here in my hometown in Martinez, California, um, everything obviously, of course, was shut down for COVID. And some, you know, no good nicks ended up wandering downtown and just destroyed windows on a bunch of buildings, broke a bunch of windows. Um, but the one that was the, the most saddest or that hit me was that they went to the best deli in town and tagged up every single window. Uh -huh. um, and so when I, I, I heard this, we live in a small town, uh, news travels fast. So it got to me within a couple hours of the morning that it had happened. And uh, it was kind of one of those moments for me where it was like, okay, you know what? Not in my town. I don't, this, I don't accept this. This is unacceptable. Yeah. So I jumped in my truck and uh, uh, drove downtown, went and talked to the guy and said, hey, don't worry about it. I got you, bro. And I just fixed all the windows for free and just said, I'm going to do two a day. And it took about a week. But, um, you know, when I finished, I figured, okay, great. You know, I've done my good turn for COVID. I've helped the local community. I got a lot of great sandwiches. So, you know, <laughs> all right, life is, uh, life is good. Yeah. And, and honestly, at, the point, at that point, Josh, that was done. I was ready to move on and, and do this. But lo and behold, over the last couple of weeks, we've seen some really, really tough times befall our country. And... Um, you know, it's, it's really become an environment where I think a lot of people out there want to help, um, but they don't know how. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of people who are also very intimidated to get out and help because they, they're afraid that they're going to say something that could be misconstrued or something that may not uh, work with the narrative in the media. And so what's happened is there's been a huge sidelining of a lot of people who want to get out and help but just need kind of a little bit of direction and so when i was watching um you know some local news and listening to interviews of small business owners in oakland and berkeley and san francisco um and you know with them talking about how they barely survived covid they were just about to reopen and now everything is lost Boom. Yeah. And I'm looking at this interview as I'm doing it, and the women are pointing out spray paint graffiti on the side of the buildings and acid etch graffiti on the windows and scratches and broken this and broken that. And I thought, okay, we can make a difference. And so I went out, I started out going out to all the Glass for New users last week um, and saying, hey, who wants to help? And I got an unbelievable response. And as I started, the responses started getting in and technicians were you know, coming in and asking how they could help, I had a couple of them start asking, well, you know, I offer other services as well. I also do window cleaning, I do power washing. Yeah. Are you gonna do any of that stuff too? And it, it kind of dawned on me that, my God, with all of the industries that we all, well, all of us kind of connect on, there's a great opportunity where there are a lot of um, business owners, window cleaning, power washing, glass restoration business owners, they would like to be able to help their community, but don't know the best way about going in. Yeah. So what we've done is we have started storefrontstrong.org. And what it is, is it's a website and we're asking window cleaners, power washers, any service provider, okay? You have skills and talents that can be of so much value to the country right now and to your neighbors and your communities, and we need your help. What I'm asking, what we're all asking, is that you donate 20 hours of labor. Now, for the glass renew technicians, if you do 20 hours of glass restoration, I'm gonna send you all the materials you're gonna need to restore all the glass you can tackle. And if wow. you wanna do more than 20 hours, you just keep letting me know. Yeah. But glass is committed to doing that. And once I started sharing that with some of the other business owners and some of the other suppliers, Josh, you, I, well, you, you know what? It's funny. We shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised because I've been, I've known you guys and everybody for so long. And it really, it speaks such volumes about our industry because I got to tell you, as I'm talking uh, with, uh, with the folks over at WCR, they, I got halfway through the pitch and he said, I'm done. I'm in, I'm sold. How can I help? And 
they've committed that uh, WCR is going to, for any window cleaner that's willing to uh, provide 20 hours, we're going to put together a window cleaning supply care package that's going to come to you with all kinds of goodies. Yeah. Um, we just got off the phone. I just got off the phone moments ago with uh, uh, powerwash.com. And they are not only endorsing this, but they are standing at the ready to provide all kinds of support for any power washer that is going out and doing this. Um, and we recognize there will be situations where there will be restoration or jobs that you're not going to be able as a technician to do for free. So we ask that you go as low as, as possible, but low to no cost. And the hope is that if we can get a big enough grouping of technicians Let's put it this way. If we can get a thousand companies to donate 20 hours of their labor, that's the equivalent of 10 man years. Okay. That's I crazy. mean, if you, if you, if we can deploy that level of service and support to our communities in the next three weeks, uh, we have a chance to really change our environment and to show the country what American ingenuity, what American entrepreneurship, what, what, what being an American is about. And that's kind of where, where we're going. I gotta be honest and I wanna be very clear. This is, you know, this is an idea that I had. Um, I've been more humbled by how many people have jumped in with both feet to help this. And, you know, so there's, there's a, a laundry list and I, I'll forget half of them, I'm sure. But if you go to the site, you'll see on the bottom of the site, we have all of the companies that are sponsoring this or supporting it. If you are watching this video and you've got a company that makes a widget or provides something that we don't have or is not up there and you want to do it, please reach out to us and, and let us know because we definitely, uh, we're looking for as much help as we can get. Yeah. You know what's crazy is that a lot of guys were trying to do this on their own, right? They wanted to help. They wanted to do this. There was pressure washing of playgrounds and things like that. But that was one person, one thing that they could do. Doing this is like on a whole nother level. This is the entire industry. We could potentially get a thousand window cleaners, a thousand pressure washers, a thousand glass restorators. You know, like this could, this could be something that's huge. And the whole thing is, is that no matter where political beliefs are and what's going on, if you think it's right or you think it's wrong, it's still happening to small business owners. These are the people that we do work for. These are people Absolutely. who have storefronts. Like, why not help? Why not show that they're still good no matter what kind of evil or what kind of things are happening out there? You exactly, know? exactly. And it's also really important to note, too, that one of the most uh, uh, frustrating parts about this is that in these uh, urban environments where the looting was happening, the majority of the businesses that were damaged we're minority owned businesses. And so if you're already dealing with one horrific situation in, 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 in life that, you know, God, you, you look back in past generations, you know, maybe it was this bad, but I definitely, America's hurting right now. And that's a very valid and very important thing. And it doesn't matter, like you said, political beliefs or not. The fact is 58% of Americans are employed in small businesses. And when small businesses fall, Amazon comes in and picks up the slack. Yeah. Those jobs don't necessarily come back. And we're at a point right now with everything that the federal government and state governments have done to help these businesses stay, I think they've gone as far as they can. Now it's time for us in the private sector to step up and help our communities because you're right. One guy is very hard to make a difference, but if we can bring in together a group and an industry and present together a solution to everyone that's having this issue, um, I think we can actually, you know, we may not be able to change the world, but we'll, we'll make it dent. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, this is an amazing idea. I, I really do think it'll go, it'll go far. Well, I, Josh, I really appreciate you bringing it up and giving me this chance to talk about it. Um, again, to everybody who's watching this, um, you know, this is our call for help. And uh, you, if you know me, I'm not one to usually come out and do this. I'm, you know, uh, I definitely, but, but there's an opportunity for us all to make a big difference in a lot of people's lives, to help a lot of businesses stay afloat and really just, you know, kind of unify and bring us back together. So uh, please visit uh, storefrontstrong.org and uh, register if you're at all interested. If you have questions or you'd like more info, contact me directly. 
Uh, I'm Cody at glassrenew.com or go ahead and just give me a call. Um, uh, uh, 888-769-0001. Um, I want to say thank you again to WCR for everything. Josh, thank you to you. Thank you to powerwash.com. Thank you to the IWCA. Thank you to Thad Eckhoff. Thank you to uh, Mike Hindelanger. Thank you to all you guys. And if I didn't say your name, I apologize. We're trying to keep this a little short, but um, thank you. We're doing it together. And uh, uh, I can't wait to uh, see how, how far we can go. Yeah. It's going to be really a pretty cool experiment and just people skills, you know, people in general. Well, I, I'm looking forward to it, Josh, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, definitely, man. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Maybe we'll do a follow-up uh, podcast uh, and we can dive into more of the, the, the crazy stuff. Heck yeah.